because it's hard for you to get aluminum silica insulation until we sell it. So a little bit more in here. Hey, but we're showing you that different materials behave differently. It still hasn't driven off all the moisture off of here. You want to see something different because I was running it so hot and got the bottom so warm that's not your normal combustion right there that propane is actually decomposing because of the high heat of the can and the interface here right into hydrogen and uh, it's gonna be hydrogen carbon monoxide and it's burning quickly right there it's actually burning inside of the burner because <laughs> got to turn it off <laughs> because hydrogen burns faster through smaller orifices than propane does and I was just starting to melt the plastic pieces of the thing that is so far away it's not supposed to melt <laughs> the paint on the metal is burning there's a fabulous demonstration to you right there of advanced combustion techniques and yeah, that's covered in some of the books. But uh, you see, because this was so hot here in relation to this, this got hot and reflected back down to here, heating this up, which caused the propane and air to thermally crack in a partial, no, this would be, it'd be a partial oxidation reaction running down here in the bottom of the propane burner. So, hydrogen and carbon monoxide, especially hydrogen, burns in a smaller orifice. See, propane can't burn and air can't burn through those holes and actually burn back down into down here, okay, the mixing assembly. It can't. But hydrogen can. You think you've got to have a, about another number 74 drill bit hole for hydrogen to not want to burn back through the hole if there's air. But there was here. So this got hot and actually thermally reformed the hydrogen with the air, I'm sorry, the propane with the air in here and it was burning in here, which is why this got too hot over here and started burning the high temperature paint off of the burner. So anyways, basically it was doing high temperature partial oxidation of propane with air inside of there because I was reflecting too much heat off of, well anyways. I got it too hot. How's that? So, you saw um, tree bark work in here, uh, but it didn't quite work as good as the others because it needed more temperature and it had a lot of moisture in it. We're not just showing you what works, we're showing you what works, how and why, and to what degrees everything works, so you can have a better idea of your own success. This is not really being edited, okay? Well, okay, speaking of gasification, I was going to show you this. Some of you might not have seen the video on our website. This is a biomass gasification camping stove. This is, and unto this I'm putting uh, wood shavings. You can put wood chips, you can put anything you want. Even wet tree bark. Well, almost wet tree bark. Okay. This is a gasification stove. It's going to gasify and burn the gases that it makes. This is exactly what is documented in hydrogen generator gas for vehicles and engines, only instead of burning the gas, it goes into your car. Producer gas for motor vehicles, hydrogen, ge ge hydrogen generator gas for vehicles and engines, volume 5, volume 1 and 2 as well. Hydrogen production from organic material also covers the same subject. And the highbrow science of it for you professionals or those who want to know more and become a professional, you do it with this book. So, okay, let's start this puppy up. Uh, it takes, it runs on batteries, but <laughs> the two batteries run for over 10 hours. Oops, I gotta pause. I had to pause because I'm running out of disk space on camera. Okay, so we're going to start this thing up real quick. 
Normally you can use a match, but I'm running short on time. And here you go. You know what happened with the propane that I showed you earlier? That's what's going on with the wood right here. It's being gasified and it's shooting air in here through these top holes. It's shooting air through the bottom through the bottom holes, which you can't see. There's air coming through the fan up through the bottom. Up through the wood, through the char, it's being gasified. The wood burns, becomes carbon dioxide and, and water vapor. That goes through the hot char, which gets reduced down to carbon monoxide and hydrogen, and it's coming out the top, and the air from is being shoot out, sh shot out the top, and it's burning right there in the top. This is a 10,000 BTU uh, per hour stove. And right now it's running on low. You start it up on low, and you put it on high, and there we go, even faster. This stove is on our website, knowledgepublications.com. Costs between $55 and $60, depending upon how much shipping is to us. And if you didn't have this air shooting down in here and burning this, and you're taking the gas out and cooling it and cleaning it, this is exactly what you'd be running your vehicle on based upon hydrogen generator, gas for vehicles, and engines, volumes one and two, three and four, and five, and hydrogen production from organic materials. If you only buy one, buy volume three and four. This is so pretty, I could just sit here and let you watch it forever. <sighs> hey, come on, this is science, guys. This is the real science. Don't swallow the bunch of stuff other people are giving you. The educational system's not showing you the real stuff. This is the real stuff. Show it to your students. Do it. Try it. Learn it. I don't care if you're 82 years old. Okay? Don't ever, ever stop learning. Isn't that pretty? <sighs> I should put that picture on cover of, cover of a book. Okay, thank you for thank you for listening and watching. Come to knowledgepublications.com. You know how to spell it. It's right there. Bye.